In this video, I'm going to show you how to create sun rays in Photoshop. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we have this image open up in Photoshop. And I want to show you the easiest way to create sun rays that comes out of the windows. So before we apply the sun rays effect, we need to make a selection of the windows because that's what the light is coming from. And we also want the sun rays to take the shape of the window. So let's get started with the tutorial. I want to start by duplicating our background image by clicking on Ctrl or Command J. And then I'm going to also convert this layer to black and white by clicking on Ctrl or Command Shift U. Now we can either make a selection of the window or we can also add some contrast with the levels adjustment layer. So click on Ctrl or Command L. And all you need to do is make the shadows darker by dragging this slider to the right. And you can also drag the midtones to the right as well. As you can see, most of the room is darker. And we can also enhance the highlights a little bit by dragging this slider to the left. As you can see, there are some areas that are left. And we can easily remove that using the brush tool with the foreground color set to dark. I'm going to paint on these areas to eliminate them from our selection. So I'm just going to paint black on the rest of the image and I'm only going to leave the windows visible. Alright, so I can apply levels again to further increase the contrast and only make the windows visible. What I'm going to do now is change the blending mode of this layer to screen. And with the screen blending mode, only the highlights will now be visible. So we're going to be working with filters. So I'm going to convert my layer to smart object by right clicking on it and choose convert to smart object. Now I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to blur, then radial blur. So this is the filter that's going to achieve the sun rays effect. And you can choose the amount of blur using this slider. So I'm going to increase the blur all the way to 100. And this filter can also be a little bit slow. So you may want to set the quality to good or draft. And lastly, you can click and drag here to set the blur center. So I'm just going to move this point a little bit to the left and to the top. And then I'm going to click OK. So as you can see, this is pretty much the effect that I was looking for. Except there is some light bleeding here on the left side. And we can fix that by double clicking on the smart filter again. And move the center point a little bit to the right. Okay, and as you can see now that is fixed. And once you're happy with the direction of the blur, we can double click to again to go back to the smart filter. And now we can set the quality to best and click OK. And it's going to be a little bit slower this time, but it will render the best quality. All right, so this is the first result that we got with the radio blur filter. But I don't really like the end result just yet, especially here on this side of the image. I want the effect of the light rays to be a little bit longer and gradually fades in in the room. So what I'm going to do is uh, reduce the opacity of this layer to 50% by clicking on 5 on my keyboard and I'm going to also duplicate this layer by clicking on Ctrl J and I'm going to apply the radio blur filter again on this layer. Now to avoid having multiple smart filters on this layer and what I also found is that applying this filter multiple times works a little bit better on a raster image. So what I'm going to do is right click on this layer and I'm going to choose rasterize layer. Now I can apply this filter again by going to filter and I can click here to apply my last applied filter or I can also use the keyboard shortcut Control or command alt F. So I'm going to click to apply the filter one more time. And I'm going to also use the keyboard shortcut to apply this filter a couple more times. Now this is a little bit harsh so I'm going to reduce my opacity to about 30 or 20%. As you can see, this is before 
and after. You might want to also apply some blur to reduce the harshness of this effect. So I'm going to select the first layer and I'm going to go to filter, blur, and I'm going to apply some Gaussian blur just to remove that harshness of the light rays. So about five or four pixels is going to be good. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to also apply this filter one more time on this layer. And that looks much better. So if the effect of this layer is a little bit harsh on the windows, you can always add a new layer mask, take the brush tool, and with the foreground color set to black, you can paint here with black to remove the effect from the windows. I'm going to duplicate this layer one last time and I'm going to apply the radio blur filter again. I'm going to keep the same settings of before, then I'm going to click OK. So this last layer is only going to be visible on the edges of the room. I'm going to right click and choose apply layer mask and then I'm going to add an inverted layer mask by holding alt or option and then take my brush tool, set my foreground color to white, and I'm only going to make this layer visible here on the edges. It's just a minor change and it makes the effect a little bit better. Alright, so that's all what you need to do to create the sun rays effect. Now, the last thing that you might want to do is uh, add some color to the sun rays to match the overall tone of the background image. So what I'm going to do is click on my first layer and then hold shift and click on the last layer and click on control or command G to group all of them. And now I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer on top of the group and then I'm going to also create the clipping mask by holding alt or option and clicking between the two layers. Then I'm going to check colorize and as you can see this adjustment layer is affecting the whole image and we can fix that by changing the blending mode of the group to screen. So now this adjustment layer is only affecting the sun rays. And what I'm going to do is to make the light rays a little bit warm using this hue slider. You can also decrease the saturation to make the effect less visible. And this is before and after. And that looks a little bit more realistic in my opinion. And that's how to create sun rays in Photoshop. This is before and after. So that's the easiest way to make sun rays in Photoshop. And as you can see, it involved making selections and creating multiple layers to achieve the results that you are looking for. But this process can be a lot more easier and faster using Luminar AI. And if you want to make this effect a lot faster and easier, let me show you how you can do that in Luminar AI. So I have another example image open in Luminar AI and by the way you can import an image by clicking on this plus icon and you can either import an entire folder of images or you can import a single image by clicking on the edit single image and then you can import your image from your drive. So this is the templates view and there's actually many templates for you to choose from and if you're not familiar with Luminar AI it's a photo editing software that makes processing images and applying effects a lot faster and easier. And it's very useful and time saving software for a lot of people that don't want to take the time to learn a software like Photoshop. And if you are interested to learn more about this software, let me know in the comments below and I'll make more tutorials about Luminar AI. I will also have a link in the description for you down below. Alright, so now let me show you how you can easily add sun rays. So first you're going to click on the edit tab and then from here you're going to click on the creative section and down here you can click on sun rays to expand its settings. So first I'm going to click on the place sun center button and it's going to add a new controller that we can use to move the sun rays. But first we need to increase the amount. And now if I start moving this handle, you'll see that the sun rays are actually interacting with the image in real time. 
and that's what I really like about this software is that it makes things a lot easier for beginners than Photoshop. Okay, so next we have the overall look and this is basically in like an opacity slider of the overall effect. So I'm going to keep this one to about 45%. You have the sun rays length and this will determine how much of the sun rays will travel throughout the image. And then we have the penetration slider and this is basically how much of light will go through. So I'm going to keep this one to about 50 or 60 percent. You also have more settings and you can click on it to expand it. So the first one is sun radius and if I move this controller here to make the sun visible you will see how this slider is affecting the image. So for the purposes of this tutorial I don't want uh, I only want the sun rays to be visible so I'm gonna move this one all the way to zero. There's also sun glow radius and sun glow amount. We don't want these either and these will react to the first slider. So when we have the sun radius all the way to zero, this slider will not make any effect to the image. Next you have the ray settings. This will increase or decrease the number of sun rays. Also for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to keep the number of sun rays to minimal. There's also a randomized slider which will randomize the look of the sun rays. And lastly you have the warmth sliders the first one is for the actual sun and because we made the sun visible previously this one is not making any effect but this slider is going to increase or decrease warmth to the actual sun rays i'm going to keep this one to about 50 percent and as you can see this is how easy it is to create sun rays in luminar ai compared to photoshop there's also one more thing that you need to know to know about is that you can click here and these are the mask options. You can click on this eraser icon and then you can increase the radius of the brush and you can paint on the image to remove the effect from a certain area. And lastly, you can click here to enable or disable the effect to see the before and after. So this is before and after. Alright, so that's how to create sun rays in Luminar AI. Let me know in the comments below if you want to learn more about this software in future tutorials. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, as always, you'll find all the images in the description of this tutorial. Other than that, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. And if you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification if you are not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.